Yeah. Now let's go look at some movies. All right. So we're looking at, I don't know where this little piece comes from. I found it somewhere. But, you know, you can read these pieces, but I really put it up here so that you can see the map here in the center. At one time, as you all know, right, through plate tectonics, like I, I described, the world was really once, you know, one, a piece, you know, one solid. And then what you call the Atlantic Ocean was a river, a huge river, and this one doesn't do a very good job of seeing it, but let me see if I can't get my pen out here. Right, but this particular river, you know, all that, and then, let's see, I think it's somewhere in South America, this would be Africa, so somewhere like this, would be that river that they drudge, that headed to the Nile, right? And then, of course, you had, you know, the Amazon River, and all these particular things. All right, but this was the demarcation line known as Ethiopia. All right, and whatever, I just think it's so hard to draw with this damn thing. So anyway, this was the demarcation line right there. All right, that river, which became what is known as the Ethiopian Ocean anciently. If you ever go try to find out the original name of the Atlantic Ocean, it's going to be the Ethiopian. Thus, the old demarcation line between the Father and the Son. Now, if you take it on longitude and latitude, okay, so you kind of, you kind of see it a little bit better over here also. All right, and this is what how they divided the land between the father and the son was that uh, natural river, but of course they you know gritted it because you're dealing with people who uh, had already built pyramids on the planet, right? And any people that know phi and psi could map out the entire planet, okay, under a grid line known as longitude and latitude. You can't even create a proper pyramid without knowing longitude and latitude of the land mass when the pyramid over here in Africa, you know, that we set up for an energy plant is at the center of the planet and laying on a ley line, as they say, and we understand that was really a bay line because these fools change everything. And it was the great bays who established all those particular cities that lay on these so-called ley lines, but they're really bay lines, all right? So anyway, so this was how it was divided up between the father and the son. Kush got all of this over here, which also included, you know, uh, India, you know, and uh, uh, this portions of Africa, while Ham got what is known as over here, the the mcgrib part of that africa too that's why we were able to come from north america as it says in in page three of your of your quran you know what i'm saying it was we came from north america then we you know we're already over here then we established morocco algiers tunis and tripoli and then went up into Europe as far as um, what they're considering Spain. Why not all the way up in there? It's because it wasn't a part, all of that wasn't a part of the area in which we got anciently from our father. Can't be going up in the Cush's area doing certain things. You can only dominate your area. And if you ever peak game, we were always dominating and trying to you know, clear people away from this particular corner of what Ham's land once was. Always coming over here to Ham's land, which is the Mobites now, because that's what it was handed to, which is us, the Moors. This is why the prophet put in your birthright 
or your landmass or your mandate. It's another reason you got to get one of our Qurans so that you can have a proper mandate, right? As a more American, right? You want to have somewhat of a, a uh, claim on, over on your land. But anyway, so from Ham, the ancient, right? Egyptians, Mizraim, the rest of them all being in the same bloodline. And then to the Moabites, the ancient ones who created what? The founders of what? The holy city of Mecca and Islam, right? Was transferred to, and these people are known today as Moorish Americans or Moroccans who were born in America. Why America? Because it's always been that way. Now let's go, let's go a little further. Are y'all with me? Did that make a little bit, a little better sense for you? So I'm not gonna- Islam. Islam. So the Prophet Noble Drew Ali gave you everything in this book, but we have to understand it a little bit better from a little bit more intelligent lines of communication, which means for us to start really understanding what this means. So Canaan, this was Canaan. The land of Canaan, it's a little bit bigger. These are the Merkur maps. It's good to go get you the Merkur maps if you really want to see what this land looked like prior to the European flipping everything upside down and turning it inside out to fit his narrative because he just came on the scene and didn't really have any ancient historical land rights. You understand? So he had to invent himself into history somewhere to get that. So anyway, this would be, including all of this part over here, which would be like what you consider Russian Asia. This would be Alaska. This is the California or Canaan. You know, but anyway, you're looking at Mount Maru or the top of the world of the North Pole, where they say these land masses are not there, which they really are. And these are the four rivers of what people consider the Garden of Eden or where all life began from. And it ran to the four corners of the world. This was actually the ancient meridian. Uh, this was actually the ancient lines that were once drawn to separate the entire land masses of the world. So if you come over here, you keep going down, you're gonna have the north. You're gonna have the north, let's just do it like this. Let's just do this like east, right, west. And then obviously, you know, as we comprehend it today, this is how this looks. But back then, it was flipped upside down because that's the way it really looks. But anyway, so what we're looking at too is the dividing of the entire land masses of all the planet when at the top of Mount Maru because of this particular structure. And you're also looking at a circle seven, like I explained to you, you know, it's a map, it's a whole lot. It's a key to you unlock your vast estate, but it's a whole lot, right? So, you know, the seven kind of being right here. <laughs> All right, so anyway, you can come in from the East, Muhammad, Buddha, you know what I'm saying, Confucius, Jesus, Muhammad, you know, all these particular things. If you ever look at the land masses, it breaks up into those areas of those particular uh, prophets. It's kind of tight. All right, so this was called Canaan. In other words. And it moved all the way down to what you consider today, Canada. We're gonna get into what the prophet Nova Duali described as your vast territory and your vast state. First and foremost, it's good to get a little understanding of North, East, South, and West. How did they even determine that? There's a thing called the Prime Meridian, and it's at zero, and it's right here in the center. Let me get my little clean action going for you. All right, so right here, it's called the Prime Meridian. Right, whatever, right? And so this is how they know it's there. It's like a little zero that goes from here zero degrees, right? And then, you know, they split the world up in these particular longitude and latitude. And it's been this way for the, you have the original person who did this. It's called Ham, Kush. They were the original ones to put down the demarcation lines or the, latitude, the, the longitude and latitude from a prime meridian. All right, so Ham's land is here on this side. 
push this on that side. Y'all with me? Y'all see that? You can blow it up. All right. So north of huh? Any questions so far? Okay. So North America is in the northern hemisphere because it's north of the equator. This is the equator, that line going all the way horizontal. Okay. North America is in the Western hemisphere because it's west of the prime meridian. That's why we are the real Westerners and they're not. You know, they be always taking your name and you be getting angry. You know, later because they didn't dirty Mac it. Now they call the men of the West. And all you see is Europeans and you think, oh, I'm the man of the East. I'm from Africa. Yeah, we are from Africa. Everything, everything, everything. Where's my little pen pen? Remember, Canyon was all that up here. So everything here out, out of Canaan, yes, Africa. This is all Africa. This is all Africa. All right. So now that we're breaking down, let's go. Let's go back to our Quran. Let's go back to our Quran, everybody. Very important that you start to see this. So number four. Now, because it's giving you longitude, latitude, uh, uh, coordinations, northeast, southeast, northeast, southeast. Y'all seeing this? North, east, south, east was whose dominion, everybody? Kush. Okay. What about everybody else? Am I boring y'all right now? Mm -mm. Okay. No. no. Nope, nope. nope. You know, I mean, no. a little no. No, 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 no. We I'm here. Not... All right. So then it says, then it goes on to say, Northwest, Northwest and south west was his father's dominion so all of this over here at one time was ham's dominion but even gets even more specific for us now number six look what he says it gets more specific the moabites we know that we are moroccans born in america of the ancient moabites from the land of Moab, all up here like I showed y'all earlier, okay? Who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt. And where were the pharaohs of Egypt? All down up in there and all like up, up in here because you can find the most ancient Egyptian so-called pyramids in the world right there in Mexico. they are saying Mexico today. Now, it says the Moabites from the land of Moab will receive permission to sell and inhabit north, inhabit northwest. To inhabit where, y'all? Northwest. northwest. Okay, so where would that be? Is that over here? Is that in there, over here? Um, no, it's not over here? <laughs> Where's Northwest? No, sir. It's on the no. other side in the, in the land of Ham. In the land of Ham. Okay. Where? Oh, down in here. The land, is the Northwest? Is this the Northwest? No, so. No, no sir. That's North South. That's uh, Southwest. That's right. So Northwest then is here. North America. Islam is. Now peep it out. Look how much that is. Excuse me. Got to go right there. Got to go right there on that line. It's this quarter. This quarter of the map is considered the Northwest. Now, how do we know Noble Ali knew this? Chapter 45, if you ever read it, all the places he talks about are right there in the people. 
right, too. All right. But does he even say this in our Quran? Yes, North, West. But what does he say? What more does he say, though, that can strengthen that? Chapter 45, please turn to real quick. The Divine Origins of the Asiatic Nation. It says in uh, number five, the Asiatic nations and countries in North, South, and Central America, the Moorish Americans and Mexicans, where? Where, y'all? North America. So not only did he describe the ancient Moabites land where they got permission from the pharaohs of Ham because they're cousins, but then he goes on to tell you specifically where the Moabites part is, okay? Then he goes on to specifically tell you where the Moorish Americans part is. So I'm gonna erase this and let's go deal with the Moorish Americans. All right, we're gonna leave this wonderful map and go to this wonderful map. This is even better for you because it breaks down specifically what the prophet said. Everybody whip out their uh, uh the divine constitution and bylaws. Somebody, somebody read Acts six, the last paragraph. Right, we're not, we won't move on until we get us a good volunteer to read the last sentence in uh access i got it okay the please, right Americans are the descendants of the ancient moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of africa so tell me where is the northwestern and southwestern north, north america? america and south america is huh? well and the caribbean islands yes yes to a degree, that's right. But look at it though. But what, you know, say, but what part? We're, we're really speaking about. Southwestern. See this? Yeah, 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 Islam. I'm going to say Islam, Islam to the whole shot. But when we're specifically speaking about us as Moorish Americans too, we're speaking the Northwestern and Southwestern, right? So the Northwestern, Western Hemisphere southwestern hemispheres right but when we're specifically speaking about more schmeck we're talking about north america now that gets right here because this is the southwestern view right here for us not really all this down here even though anciently we can't but let's just worry about this gigantic land mass up here and remember why did we have Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, and Tripoli? Why was the ancient Royal Maghreb right here? And then I got, I showed you guys the maps of a while ago, which I'm gonna repost, where it was ancient Jerusalem, right? With uh, Mansa Musa sitting on all that gold, ancient Jerusalem and all that being a part of this area right over here, because it was still a part of our empire. That's why we were able to go conquer Spain and Germany and all that because we were conquering everything in our empire, including the, these tips of South America. Excellent. All of this was us. That's why we came from where it says, and I'll read it for you real quick. So we don't be, you know, guessworking here on page three of your Quran, your, this divine and lovely, our uh, law in our book, praise Allah for it, it says, the on, on page three, it says the industrious acts of the Muslims of the Northwest. Now you can see it. Southwest Africa. Well, there is no such thing as the Southwest Africa as we know it today. I just proved that. There is no such thing as the Northwest Africa today. I just proved that. Other than at the one time when all the continents were together and everything was out of Africa. And that's from the point of view of the prophet. That's why he said ancient. But you got to move it into its modern term. That's why he gave you Northwestern, you know, Southwestern shores, Northwest, so that you can distinguish the Africa anciently in which he's speaking about would be America. Am I making sense? 
Islam. 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 All right, so he says, these Islam. are the, these are the Moabites, Hamatites, Canaanites who were driven out of the land of Canaan. Right? Driven does not mean a bad thing. Driven actually means escorting. Hmm. Keep that out. So driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. Wow. So Egypt was in control of all of North the world. Egypt was the world. It was a world empire. It was the world empire, as a matter of fact. In later years, they formed themselves. These kingdoms are called this day. Now, peep it out. Where were they first? They were in where? Northwest and Southwest Africa. We just proved that is America, the Americas. And then they, in later years, they formed themselves kingdoms. Then in later years, they were in North over here, right? Doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Over here, you had the, you know, uh, so-called Cherokee, whatever, you know, these little tribal names or whatever you may want to call it. It was still us as Mo uh, Moabites in the Moroccan empire, right? And then later years, we came over here and we established uh, the Royal McGrib or the McGrib, meaning of the far West. Now you understand why, or you can even call this the West. Even when it's in Africa, it's still the West. So when we say we're of the McGrib, meaning of the West, this is still true even when you over here in so-called Africa or so-called Europe, you still, Spain is still in the West. Y'all get it? Why we conquered and why we did all that. Okay. Are y'all seeing that we were here first in North America and then we went over here and created Algiers, Tripoli, Tunis, the uh, all the Moroccan, the, what is known as the United States of Morocco. And then its capital was actually over here in North America called Casablanca, meaning the White House. That's where they get the term White House from because it was once called Casablanca. Moorish Palace, Islam. Ooh. All right. Interesting. So we got to really understand the prophet was correct. We, if we keep constantly go outside of our own stuff, then we're going to get kind of mixed up. But you got to take your time and understand your geography, understand your topography, and understand what he's talking about when he says on page three that the Moabites, Hamatites, who are the Egyptians too, Canaanites, who, who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion. But where were they? The Muslims of Northwest and Southwest Africa. All right, all this was Africa though. All right, so anyway, hopefully I kind of pounded that point in because this map right here is one of the best, one of the better ones. And maybe I should print this out for everybody or get a hold of it and kind of put that in right there at the end of your Quran in chapter, uh, you know, straight up, you know, as a as a teaching degree so you can know where your land mass is. All right, so let's go on further though. Because of prophet, now that we understand a little bit better of chapter 47, the Northwestern, Southwestern, and Act 6, and page 3, when he gives all of these uh, longitude, latitude, or uh, descriptions of land um, areas that are yours. Now, this is what is known as North America. Every single thing you see here, including Greenland, that's us, my people. So when I put on the publication that we, because the prophet said, after you do it, then you're supposed to claim. So I put on the publication, we claim all of North America under our treaty. I mean, excuse me, under our deed and the prophets. Now, am I Islam. going too far? No, I'm not going too far. Is this too believable? Only for the fools who, who still believe right that they are not worth anything but they're giving everybody else their stuff back why not you man they didn't shut the world down because of what we did i'm not gonna keep going through the stuff with y'all trying to convince you okay it's popping man 
This is our landmass. This right here, and it perfectly cuts off to that perfect tip of South America. What they're not showing you is Mount Maru. So breathe it in, your birthright. When the prophet said, I've given you back your vast estate. Then he tells you, I've given you back your name, your vast estate, your religion. What else do you want him to do? Kill you so you can be born back in when it's all good? 